hello all are you able to hear me shall we start yes sir, yes, sir you can start yeah what about aditya vinod any idea no sir they are joining or uh, they won't come uh, i don't know sir okay sir i will ask uh, vinay sir just uh, just intimate to vinay then i'll start vinay Hello, sir. Yep. Aditya mobile switched off, and uh, we know okay. not receiving his call. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, so we'll start. Okay, sir. Start. so you are able to see the screen yesterday we were doing some program yes sir remember the program name z star bdc or something correct that might z test bdc sir जेट टेस्ट ओके दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड No, not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Okay. Hello, sir. Red mat. Let us go to the SHDB. Yesterday we have created this recording. Correct. Remember this recording? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So click on program. Hmm. So this is. what we have done yesterday this is yes. what the program we have created i'll copy this program go to ac38 give the program and display now get into the functionality so why we have given uh, this structure why we have declared this structure because we want to upload the data which was there in the flat file into the internal table i want to create the internal table and work area so i have uploaded okay yes sir now the next step is in the start of selection i have written perform upload data in the perform upload data what i have done is gui upload Yeah. I uh, I'm giving a file path here. Yeah. Okay. So now instead of giving this file path what I want to do I will give a parameter in the parameter usually user will provide the file path. And I will give the parameter to the GUI upload function module. Here what I will do instead of hard coding this path what I will do I will give a parameter that means i'll give a selection screen in which the user will provide the path okay okay sir. so that that also i will show you how to do and before doing that see double click on this include double click on this include <coughs> this is a sap standard include which is starting with the bdc so click on a display totally go down go down in the program there are two performs here start new screen and insert field so copy these two performs 
copy these two performs come back to the program your program will come go to the bottom of your program and paste this okay now here there is a if condition if fval is equal to no data comment this once the program is finished you can come to know why we are commenting this so comment if if uh, f value is not equal to no data dot if condition comment in this next go to the top of the program once again go inside the include the same include there is a include here go double click on the include click on display now in this program go to the data declaration just scroll down there are data declaration see if you observe there are two internal tables which were declared copy these internal tables and paste it in your program okay once you paste it in your program this include is no more required so comment the include so now see what we have done is we are declaring two internal tables the internal table name is bdc data which is having a structure of bdc data so now if i double click on this bdc data structure you can see how the bdc data structure looks like so this is important under your question what is the bdc data structure what are the fields in the bdc data structure what are the fields you are looking into program screen dynpro means a screen dyn begin that means screen is beginning that indicator field name and field value so this is the structure for bdc data so we have declared one internal table the internal table name also bdc data which is having all these five fields there is another internal table ms tab which is having which is having a structure of bdc msg call so messages generally required what message type message number message group uh, so message number 1 2 3 4 four variables correct if i go inside bdc msg call you can see all this message type message id message number and so on four variables for messages okay so now we have created two internal tables one is for bdc data another one is messages now the question is what is this bdc data internal table message table is to store the messages that's it, that is okay but what is this bdc data internal table why this is required actually what will happen you have already recorded to create a material correct see if you observe all these small perform statements all these perform statements okay all these perform statements are the procedure to create a material correct yes sir yes sir now see what is this perform bdc dynapro using what is this and what is this using the variable sir what is this sap l m g m m what is this it's a function group sir hmm it's a function group good but from where it was coming see i'll go to mm01 transaction okay so this is the first screen of your mm01 transaction yes sir go to the system status 
what is the program name sap l m g m m yes sir same same thing correct yes sir what is the screen number 16. 16 so here is 16 okay yes sir so now what what this bdc dynapro will do see w click on this bdc dynapro using these two values it will fill the bdc data internal table see here here what we are saying append bdc data with the program name and screen number fill the bdc data internal table okay okay sir. next next what what this perform will do bdc data cursor this is using bdc cursor rmm g1 matnr what is this rmm g1 matnr so now what will happen once your program sees this statement your program control will go to this particular screen the particular program and particular screen now once the program see this statement what is this rmm g1 matnr for example i'll put my cursor here click on f1 for documentation help go to the technical settings click on this button see what is the screen feel rmm g1 matnr correct getting it screen feel at the bottom rmm g1 matnr so this is something like rmm g1 is a structure matnr is a field so this is a structure hyphen field name you are doing in a modulable programming correct you are putting structure hyphen field name in the screen yes sir yes sir in the same way they have given some structure hyphen field name okay so in this perform statement what it is trying to do put the cursor bdc our cursor will be there no see this is the cursor yes sir which is blinking put the cursor in this particular field which field matnr okay sir so that is what the next list hello sir hello sir leave out, leave out this yeah tell me uh ah, some nice is coming sir that's why now it's okay um, sir oh. now it's okay sir you can continue okay 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 fine so na, the next thing is leave out this bdc okay code come to this point what is this rmm g1 matnr m05 that means what is the meaning m05 you have given here m05 yes sir okay next what is this rmm g1 embrush what is this embrush is next fields if you click That's here it. yeah next field this is next field <laughs> click here go for f1 see the screen field rmm g1 embrush correct in the next field yes in the next field what you are putting the next field while recording what you have given c you have given c c so yeah so the next field is c and the next field after industry sector material type what you have given uh, that uh, drinks FGTR. FGTR. This is a chemical industry. Uh, this is raw material or finished product or something we have given. No. Yes. So that one. So this is a next field name and the field content. Once you do this, you press the button. Which button you pressed? Enter. 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 Yeah. This is the. This is what BDC OK code means. if you press some button if you press enter that will come as a bdc okay code okay sir okay so now what happened so this is the first screen so i'll put here first screen so now 
once you press enter what will happen another screen will come correct yes sir second screen see the program is the same program but the screen number now is 70 70 okay in this screen what we have done you have selected the basic data one correct yes. remember the recording yesterday we have done yes sir. basic data one we have selected so see here this is what basic data one selected selected indicator is x if it is x means basic data one is selected first what you have done you put the cursor on basic data one this is bdc cursor means you put your cursor on basic data one and then you press enter so this is the second screen second screen is also done any questions in the second screen you can ask me now this is third screen so this is the program this is a screen number what we have entered we have entered description. description description we entered a test 5 correct yes sir after that we put the cursor on base unit of measures base unit of measure we entered pc correct yes, yes sir after that press enter so we press enter so then what's happening actually see this is some some other field okay which we have not given if you have not given this field see mara hyphen mt pause hyphen mara this we have not given if you don't want this you can comment if you are if it is not required because we have only given description and base unit of measure so put only those and comment the other thing next one when we press enter fourth screen will come this screen will ask you are going to exit shall i save the material so then what we said we said yes okay then our material got saved fun this is what we have done in the recording okay sir. now now what my aim is so this perform open group this is not required i will comment this and perform close group will be there in the bottom this is also not required bdc transaction using mm01 will be there these two performs are also not required so i'll comment this so whatever what are all we are commenting perform open group perform close group and perform bdc transaction using mm01 these things we are commenting okay now all these performs all these small performs statements are there no bdc dynapro bdc field bdc field what all these performs are doing if you double click on this perform it all the small performs are filling bdc data internal table okay sir okay now so this is the procedure how we have created one material now i want to create a 10 materials which are there in my internal table so what i will do loop at i tab into work area okay and after all the performs i will say end loop now so all the performs are filling bdc data internal table so for every material loop at i tab into the work area for every material i will say refresh internal tab bdc data now with this statement what will happen previous material content is there in this bdc data internal table that will be refreshed now you are internal table will be cleared a fresh internal table will be ready for you okay bdc data internal table 
because all these performs are filling VDC data internal table. Before filling, I am removing the previous content. Okay. Then, what is there here? M05. Correct. But every time, are you going to give M05? No, sir. No, sir. It will different. No. Now what I will give here? Work area hyphen MAT and R. Got the logic? What I am doing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In instead of giving M05, I am giving the work area material number because all the materials are there in my internal table now. Material yes, related yes. data. So among those material, loop at internal table into the work area means first record will come into the work area. So first record material number will go to this place. And similarly here, work area hyphen M B R S H. Here. Work area hyphen M T A R T. You need to put dot at the end. Next, in the second screen, do we have given something? No. No values we have given. Correct. Just we have selected the basic data. And in the third screen, we have given the material description. Yes. Test five. Now I'll give work area hyphen M E X K T X. And this is also base unit of measure P C. Here now I'll give work area hyphen M E I N S. Okay. Okay. So after that, finally, what I will do? I will write a syntax. The syntax is call transaction. Which transaction we are going to call? To create a material, which transaction we need to call? MM zero one using BDC data. That means what? Up till now, all these performs are filled. BDC data internal table. Using that BDC data internal table, call this MM01 transaction. Update BDC data. Update S. I'll tell you what is update. Mode A. messages into for messages we have created one internal table what is the internal table name message tab message tab message tab, message tab. yeah so messages into message tab so this is the syntax okay the syntax is call transaction mm01 using bdc data update s there are two types of updates are available You can give update S or update A. S stands for synchronous. A stands for asynchronous. Okay, what is this? Yes, uh, yes, and yeah. Any idea? Synchronous means what? Asynchronous means what? Synchronous means constant. Hmm. Asynchronous means random. Synchronous means mm, simultaneous. Asynchronous means yeah, asynchronous means whatever you said. I will agree. Random. That is a little bit okay, but synchronous. Synchronous means it's simultaneous. Mm, Sequence. Okay. Simultaneous. Okay, fine. So now, um, see, this is an important interview question. So they will ask you how many types of updates are available. So, how many types of updates are available? Two types: synchronous and asynchronous. Now, what is synchronous? Say, for example, you are saving the data in some transaction. You are you are going through some transaction. Okay. Now, what will happen? You, uh, say, for example, you go, you went to the MM01 transaction to create a material. 
you entered some details in the first screen so second screen came you entered some details in the second screen you entered some details in the third screen and click on save button that that's what you are doing right now correct yes sir so now what what will happen the data will go and store in different different tables okay okay yes sir so material details will store in mara table material description will store in mkt table uh, mkt table and and so on sales organization details will be stored in mrd table and so on so forth something like that it will store the data into the tables now something has happened you entered the uh, you entered the values in the first screen as uh, something has happened your server crashed okay then what system will do whether it stores whether it updates the database table only with the first screen level field values getting my question yes sir yes sir actually a transaction once the transaction completes then it should update the tables because once the transaction completes then only you will give the complete details then only proper proper the material is completely created but now what happen assume that in the middle of something some screen system crashed or your power gone or something has happened so what system has to do at the point of time does it store the values or does it not does not store the values it should store and continue after the from that point itself we should store and continue after that point itself mm. but what will happen some tables will update some tables will update halfly some tables will not get updated material inconsistencies will come so say for example one material will be there if you go and see material will be there but material description will not be there yes sir yeah so this kind of things irregularities will come okay so now let us come to the point of synchronous and asynchronous why i am saying all this story to you because if you update in a synchronous mode what system will do if a material is completely created then only it will store okay. if all the data is there with the system then only it will update the database tables but if you are giving a a means asynchronous update asynchronous update means as and then as and then uh, first screen level you have given some data as and then it will store next second screen level okay second screen came you give, give it you you have updated some details second screen it will store third screen it will store so this this asynchronous method will not give you a data guarantee some inconsistencies will be there in asynchronous method but synchronous method waits until you give all the details then it will update the database table got the difference what is the yes. synchronous and asynchronous yes sir yes sir so this is very important in your interviews they will ask you certainly what is synchronous update what is asynchronous update okay sir. okay and there are mode now come to the mode what is mode a a means all screens okay there are you can also give n mode you can also give n n means no screen everything gone we are not saved yes sir
so i'm repeating the same so that's why i'm not giving you any information i'll quickly replace okay sir and then come back to you sir what is that bdc underscore okay code sir bdc okay code is a button say for example you are press you have pressed the enter okay sir okay after giving these values material number material type and uh, industry sector you press the enter button BDC okay code it will recognize only enter button only na no? ah uh, once you press enter button or once you click on any other button BDC okay code will come automatically what is there in inside that uh, okay code which one in BDC okay code what is there in inside that hmm. one BDC okay code what is there ah no. see oh, what, what is, is uh, no no this is This is OK code means button function code, say you come kind of thing. Okay. This is the enter button related say you come. Okay, sir. Got it? This is just like a function code, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a function. Code. Correct. Call. Transaction T R A N action M M zero one using B D C data update yes. synchronous update. It is always better to go with the synchronous update. No. A synchronous update is faster. Synchronous update is slow, but Synchronous update will give you the data guarantee. A synchronous will not give you a data guarantee. Yeah, and messages into must tab. Must tab. Okay, fine. So now update is yes. S means synchronous. Mode A, A means all screen. And if you give N, you can also give N here. N means no screens. E means error screens. Okay, there are three kinds of modes are available. E means error, N means no, A means all. Right now I am putting in all all screen mode, and message is into mess tab, and at the end I need to put end loop. So I, I will get the messages into this internal table. So after that what I will do? I will write the messages. Perform. Write. Messages. So this mess tab is having which structure? BDC MSG call. This is also important in interview. They will ask what is the structure of messages table? How we will handle the messages in call transaction? So they will ask you how you will handle the messages in call transaction. So how you will handle by creating a internal table which is having a structure BDC MSG call. So BDC MSG call. If you see the structure, it has message type, message ID, message number, and four variables for the message. So now what I will do? So after getting the messages into the, this message table, I will try to write the messages. I will create a perform. I will say here loop at loop at next tab
So this mesh tab is having with header line or without header line? Hmm? This is with header line. See how they have declared mesh, mesh tab. Observe the declaration. Mesh tab like BDCM is equal occurs zero. Whenever you see the occurs zero with header line means this is internal table with header line. That means work area is also mesh tab and internal table body also mesh tab. And then here what I will do? I will call a function module. The function module name is format underscore messages. This is a function module. Call this function module format underscore messages. Yeah, format underscore messages is a function module. Call this function module. To this function module, if you pass the ID, long ways, variables, then this function module will give you the message. So ID will be there in our mesh tab message ID. It's not psi. This is mesh tab hyper message ID. Similarly, long ways. Long ways. I want to give. Okay. Longo. Sai longo means what? You did. Language. Unmuted. Which one? Language. Language. Which language? Sai longo means. Sai longo means. Okay. What language you enter? Yeah. Login. Sai longo means login language. System login language. So maybe if you uh, log in in German language, it will come as German. Okay, and here I'll give V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, And I will import the message. So I want to import the message into one variable. So to that, to do that, what I will do? I will declare a local variable here. Data. Some msg of length. Some 80. type character and I will pass this msg here it is always good to enable exceptions and message for any function module then once you get the message what you need to do you write W R I T right. And once you write the message, that means all the messages in the loop in the mesh tab and refresh the mesh tab. Refresh. So now got it like what is the functionality? So save it. Check whether any any errors are there. Let us see. Mm. So BDC data. Oh sorry, I have given BDC tab.
So instead of refresh, you can give clear. Hmm, clear option. Why you are not using clear? Clear means it will uh, see. Actually, uh, speaking, clear is more efficient when compared to refresh. Okay, refresh sir. and clear both will do the same. Refresh uh -huh. means your work area will also get clear. Okay. Clear means your body. That means uh, if if this is a BDC, if the internal table is a width header line, your body will get cleared. BDC data and refresh deallocates memory. Whereas clear will not deallocate a memory. It will use the same memory, but the content will be cleared. Refresh means it will take a new memory, no? Yeah, it will take the old memory and yeah. allocate the new memory. Yeah, correct. Yeah, now the program is correct. I will activate. So now we are going in which mode? We are going in all screen mode. There are three modes. So now we are going in all screen modes. All screen mode means it will show you all the screens while updating. So now I'll, I'll I'll execute. So while execute, what will happen? It will upload the flat file. Yesterday we have prepared a flat file. Remember? It? Yes, sir. Yesterday we have prepared a flat file. I will try to show you that flat file also. One. This is the flat file. Yesterday we have prepared six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 yes. 12 13 14 15 yes, sir. so what what now this uh, will do this will try to this program will try to upload this and put it into the internal table and then based on the internal table it will try to create the materials okay so now let us execute and see whether the program is doing this or not hmm. now see what happened you are going to the MMG, M06 chemical industry raw material from where it was coming from the Sir. flat file Sir. M06 chemical industry raw material press enter basic data 1 is selected press enter test 6 PC everything norm is coming press enter it is asking you are able to exit shall I save yes Don't click on any other buttons. You just click on this OK code. This tick every time you check it. Now the second material came. Getting it? What it was yes, doing? Yes, sir. So this material is already there. It was staying. Press enter. So it is saying this material is already there. I cannot create. So there is an error. Correct? Fine. So if the material is already there, it will not create. Then what you will do? You go for the next material. Slash N, you give the slash N, it will come up with the next material, M08. Press enter. This is, all, this is also there, I think. You come up with the next material, give the slash N here. M09 was coming. So this material is not there. M09 is not there. So it was creating M09. So M010, M10 came. It's creating M10. Like that. See, it's, it's showing you all the screens, correct? Why yes, it is showing all the screens to you? Yeah, because okay. you have given mode, mode A. Yes, sir. Screen. Okay, if you give mode N, no screen will be shown to you but updates will be done so this this material is already there so I will say slash n material 12 12 was creating now Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Now, if you see, see, this is the log. 
you have given a right statement correct so yes. for this the data screen description missing for the screen sequence ch this is some error it was giving material 6 is created after that so then it's on return material type compatible unit copy to the copy to the master record then for every material it will give some uh, description if the if the material uh, some material is not created then it will give the error see material already maintained for this transaction event for m07 m08 some materials already there correct for those it's giving material is already maintained if the material is created material m09 is created it's giving this if you want the message is not like this one below the other then what you do you put a slash here i forgot to put a slash in the right statement so it was coming continuously you put here slash in the right statement so messages will appear you clearly one below the other not like in a jumbled way okay and uh, what i will do i will also yes, so put this mode i will put the mode yeah no screen yeah i will put the mode in a no screen and now let us see i will execute and let us see what will happen Hmm. Now see, read the log. Material already maintained for this transaction because already it, we in the previous uh, just uh, two minutes back only we have created all the materials, correct? So it was saying if you give a new material in the flat file, go to the flat file, try to change the flat file with the new material. I will I will try to create only few materials now. Only three materials. I'll give here M sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I'll save. Now I'll execute. So now you can see the log. Material M sixteen created. M seventeen created. M eighteen. created so whether it is it was created or not go and check in the database table go to the mara table and check whether those 16 17 18 were created or not okay so this is how you can do a bdc call transaction program got it yes yes sir so okay so all those materials will be created you can check those materials in yes. mara tables or marsi table or you go to the makt table you can see the description there you can see the descriptions here okay so this is how we will create a bdc program and tomorrow we will see how to do the session method today we have seen how to do a call transaction method tomorrow we'll see how to do a session method okay okay yes. try to practice this call transaction method in all the modes all the updates try to practice it okay okay yeah. so tomorrow what time will it hello tomorrow sir. maybe we'll meet uh, in the afternoon session around 2:30 Until thirty, yes. Or sorry, we'll meet at two thirty or three o'clock. We'll meet. Okay. Okay, sir. Will you, sir? You are coming to Vasishna Nagar, sir, no, sir? Yeah, I will come to the Vasishna Nagar at three o'clock. Okay, sir. Okay. Yep. Okay, sir. Fine, sir. Bye, sir. Okay.